Hello student, welcome to today's session. Today we shall be discussing some of the important questions. In fact, these are the doubts which is being asked by some student from the chapter of hydrocarbon from the book of Imanshu Vande. So let us do these questions one by one and you should do it by pausing this video and then see into the discussion. So which of the following will react most vigorously or most reactive towards the addition of HBr? So you are being given alkyne, alkene and diene you are being provided with. First, you have to understand that the rate of e, rate of addition or rate of electrophilic addition, if I write it, electrophilic addition, in case of alkene would be faster as compared to alkyne, primarily because of the two things. One, once you attack the H positive, the carbocation which you happen to get would be something like this. This carbocation is having a adjacent you have sp2 hybridized carbon which is is more electronegative and would withdraw electron density towards itself compared to the one when it is attacking the double bond so here you would get a carbocation of the type sp3 so sp3 is more electron releasing compared to the one of the sp2 now this i would say this would be less stable and this would be more stable so one reason is this that alkenes react faster towards the electrophilic addition as compared to the alkynes. Second is that this pi bond is strongly held in the case of triple bond as compared to the double bond. In the double bond, the pi bond, are, pi bond is more, more loosely held. So the nucleophilicity of the triple bond would be little lesser as compared to that of double bond. One way of narrating the things is that way. And as compared to dienes, dienes would react even more faster because of the fact that the carbocation would generated here would be resonance stabilized. Here you get a carbocation which is resonance stabilized. Since it is resonance stabilized, so this would aggressively undergo a reaction then compared to double bond or triple bond. Now out of these, this if there are two dienes available here. Now if I attack it here on this side, this bond goes here and you end up getting a carbocation of the type this one. This also is resonance stabilized. So we need to figure out that out of this and this, if I say this as one, this as two, which carbocation is more stable? The stabler the carbocation more vigorously it would undergo reaction compared to the other molecules. So here what I would be saying that it would have, this is electron leasing group. This also is an electron leasing group and this is resonance stabilized and there is a electron leasing group on both the side here you would not see electron leasing group on one of the terminals so since it is having more number of it it is containing more groups of plus i effect which would stabilize carbocation better as compared to the first one so second carbocation would be more stable because it is resonance stabilized as well as more number of electron leasing groups it would have so among these the best answer would be the d option so this is the first statement which you can uh, think about this way second question comes of the topic of consider the following rearrangement in this rearrangement first hbr has attacked it and this bond goes this side and you get a carbocation then there is a ring expansion to acquire the stability the compound would the intermediate wanted to uh, expand the ring thereby it can generate because this is a secondary carbocation with a five membered ring this is a tertiary carbocation with a six membered ring once the stable carbocation is being formed then br negative is going to attack it and you would get a carbocation so you are getting intermediate one and intermediate two so in intermediate when one and two so we will say there is a formation of transition state here transition state one this would be transition state 2 and this would be transition state 3. And transition states are the states where bond making and breaking is taking place but it is not uh, in between the path. Intermediate is being isolated during the process through we can check through the technology. So the point is that uh, this is the, the best answer would be for this would be that they, these dips are called as intermediate. All of these dips are intermediates. So how many intermediates are there? Two intermediates. So this can be a wrong statement. Now you are left with three options. Now among these three options, you need to figure it out that 
uh, here this is this reaction because the energy of products is greater than that of reactants. So this is basically a reaction which is endothermic in nature. And these two are showing that the reaction is exothermic. So uh, our answer should be because ultimately you have broken a pi bond and generated two sigma bonds. So sigma bonds being stronger than that of pi bonds, so obviously energy would be released. So we shall be saying that this addition across double bond of HBr is electrophilic addition would be a exothermic process. Heat would be released. So either the answer would be B or C. Now among B and C, you have to figure out which is the better one. So the better one would be these are the TS1, TS2, TS3 and this also is TS1, TS2, 1, 2, 3. So that way both are very close answer. Now what we shall be saying that after TS2 to TS3, there is good amount of stability we have achieved because the ring has become six membered which would have lesser angle strain and the carbocation has become tertiary. So the dip in intermediate stage from this side to this side should be more. Here it is almost close to the one of TS2 and TS3. So the best among these would be a four, uh, would be a C option. So otherwise the answer would be very close B and C because as per the book which you are endorsing it and how the data is being projected, so it is very close, but we shall be going if in same type of question would come in the paper with the same representation, I shall be opting for the C option because the TS3 would be more stable compared to the uh, TS2. So the dip in energy would be more in TS3 and uh, vis a vis if we consider B and C, C would be the better answer. Okay, going ahead for the next one. So here you are being given a triple bond as well as aldehyde. So we know for sure that uh, this sodium and ammonia react to form sodamide with the evolution of hydrogen gas and amide is a very strong base. Amide is a strong base, is a strong base. Since it is a strong base, it will abstract this H positive which is acidic in nature. So what you would get with it is a carbon ion. Uh, I would say amide would have taken one of the H of this uh, trip, uh, terminal bond and resulting in the formation of carbon ion. And this carbon ion then can attack the electrophilic center of aldehyde group. Electrophilic center of aldehyde group. So what basically it would do, so you have a, a bond like this, you have three carbons, one, two, three and this is the fourth one COH and this would attack it and this goes here followed by protonation. So you end up getting alcohol. So what basically you end up getting here is so this would turn to OH and you have a triple bond and CH3. So the best answer among these would be the A option. A would be the right statement among the all options which are there in this particular problem. Going on to the next question, this also is a very interesting question and a lengthy one. So first it is the sodamide or potassium amide which is a strong base which would abstract the uh, terminal hydrogen like this and two moles of it would abstract, two moles of amide would abstract two ammonia out of it and resulting in the formation of carbon ion. Now this carbon ion counter ion would be the potassium ions and these carbon ions then would attack alkyl halide which is eight membered ring here is there. So if I place the eight membered ring here, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this would have chlorine and this would also have chlorine. So one chlorine would come here. So these are the chlorine. And now what would happen is this would attack this one and throws this out. And similarly, parallelly, once first attack has happened, then thereafter the second attack of that carbon having a negative charge on this would also attack and this would also go. So ultimately what you end up getting here is eight carbons along with the uh, these two carbon total would become 10 and these 10 can be depicted like this. So you end up getting a triple bond. So you would get a triple bond something like this and this triple bond is what basically we end up getting here is 
this is what you call it as A option. And A is being treated with hydrogen in the presence of platinum. This is basically a sort of um, uh, hydrogenation which would say uh, the hydrogen in presence of Lindlar's catalyst, which would convert triple bond, triple bond into double bond of the type cis. This is a this is what you have always have to remember. Hydrogen in presence of Lindlar catalyst convert triple bond into cis alkene or you can also take hydrogen in presence of nickel boride this is called as p2 catalyst p2 catalyst and third one is that is called as birch reduction sodium in alcoholic this is sodium in ammonia is basically a birch reduction which would convert triple bond this is called as sodium in presence of liquid ammonia is what basically is called as a topic of birch reduction this would make triple bond into double bond but of the type trans so these are the three ways by which you can say this is a way of doing partial reduction where triple bond can be converted into double bond so first you have done this hydrogen in presence of platinum spotted on bar barium sulfate or calcium carbonate so it it would convert into a double bond so double bond of the type cis so this would change this into cis so this is the cis isomer in the sense this is hydrogen this is hydrogen this is cis and then it is to be treated with bromine so if it is being treated with bromine so double bond when treated with bromine so this br got attached here now thereafter you again have treated with alcoholic koh i think so they are given the alcoholic koh Yes, potassium amide. Potassium amide is in fact even a stronger base than alcoholic KOH. So here they have used potassium amide, two moles of it. So it will do dehydrohalogenation. So the, the dehydrohalogenation can occur from two sides, either from here and one from here. This is alpha, this is beta. Similarly, this is alpha, this is beta. Or you can say this has to be alpha and this is to be beta dash and similarly this is alpha this is beta dash so either the hydrogens would of the red color hydrogen would go out or the brown color hydrogens would go out if i go for brown colored hydrogens it would give me diene type of a thing which is quite stable because it is in conjugation also but as per the options available he is because during a organic reaction the things goes very parallelly so he is telling us to take the reaction towards the red side why because it would give you dehydrohalogenation and dehydrohalogenation would again create a triple bond again create a triple bond where it is being shown because the four options which we have is having double or it is not talking about any uh, any diene so we have to restrict ourselves to either double bond or triple bond now the matter of the fact is thereafter here the d option we which we get is again a triple bond you end up getting dehydrohalogenation uh, because of the two moles two 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 moles would result in triple bond and thereafter this is what you call it as birch reduction now birch reduction would give you trans now how to show trans onto this part because this if i show it like this this is what you call it as cis but if you want to project it into the form of trans it would look like the c option this we will say this is a trans entity why because why we are saying it has to be trans because this hydrogen is projected towards this side this hydrogen is projected towards this side and this hydrogen on this side so this is what you call it as a trans isomer so the best among four options would be a C option. I think this is the doubt of a child, which the book is saying some other answer. Book is, whatever answer is being shown by book is the answer for the problem D. What is D is being formed? D, they are mentioning as to be B. But if they are asking E option, E has to be C option. So this is, this might be a doubt for a child. So I think I made my point clear here on to this. What would happen is, uh, two KBr would go out and two ammonia would go out. So this is dehydrohalogenation of the red shown hydrogens I have thrown out. 
moving on to the next one this also is a very interesting question which of the following compound so can uh, which of the following uh, which suitable reagent among the following distinct compound 3 you want to distinguish compound 3 from the rest of the others now this 3 compound is basically a terminal alkyne terminal alkyne and there is a very interesting viewpoint here that terminal alkynes uh, tend to show some sort of uh, different reaction in the sense that if you have a triple bond and you want to distinguish it from other hydrocarbons so there are two ways to do is you treat it with tollens reagent tollen reagent is nothing but ammonical silver nitrate ammonical silver nitrate which may be shown in the exams like this this is ammonical silver nitrate ammonical silver nitrate or ammonical silver nitrate could also be shown it like this silver nitrate along with ammonium hydroxide so what exactly it do it results in the formation of this and this would give you white ppt and other way of doing it you treat it with cuprous halide here you would give it would give you red ppt so this is the best way to distinguish terminal alkyne from the rest of hydrocarbons these two tests they would give either the tollens region test or cuprous chloride test so here you would get white ppt here you would get red ppt now what is to be done here that which would be the best answer obviously it would be the d option why is it d because this is non terminal non terminal only can give you bromine water test as the case for any double or triple bond uh, bromine water test is applicable so this is alkane which would not react with this ammonical silver nitrate and this is double bond this also would not give its reaction with silver nitrate on the same analogy you can be given this next question which would also have the same viewpoint here what you are being given p and q decolorizes aqueous bromine so anything which decolorizes bromine either would have double bond or would have triple bond this is for sure and the position of triple bond could be terminal or non terminal so what would happen this would this when you treat it with bromine it bromine has a dark color which get decolorized with the formation of this uh, dibromo or here you could get a tetra bromo type of a thing this is colorless so the color of the bromine water get discharged so now uh, what else is is saying that pq decolorizes bromine water but only one of them only one of them gives precipitates with tollens region that is ammonical silver nitrate so that means one of that hydrocarbon must be terminal alkyne so what shall be then the answer the things would become very easy this is double bond triple bond but it is non terminal so this would not be the answer this is terminal and this also is terminal so both would give you uh, silver nitrate test so this also would not be the answer and here both are terminal so this also would not be the answer the best answer would be the d option because one of these is terminal and another is non terminal the one with terminal and non terminal would give you bromine water test but this terminal would would give you silver or tollens reagent test the tollens tollens reagent test would be given positive for the terminal alkyne so the d would be the answer to this particular question moving on to the next one so i think all the questions which has been asked yesterday by some child of himanshu pandey book of hydrocarbon is done with and keep pushing me such questions I will make the video solution. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Take good care of yourselves.